While Glenn, the U.S. said ahead of this deployment that it will not send troops to Ukraine in the event of conflict there. Now, President Biden is sending 3,000 additional U.S. forces to Eastern Europe, and they'll be deployed to Romania, Germany, and Poland. This is according to the Pentagon. The president made it clear about this mission, saying that these troops will serve as a presence to reassure NATO that the U.S. will protect its allies from any aggression by Russian President Vladimir Putin. He's threatening to invade Ukraine, not Romania or Poland. And Pentagon leaders announced earlier that Putin had deployed enough troops and also military hardware to conduct that invasion with more than 100,000 Russian troops currently positioned at Ukraine's borders. Now, U.S. officials, they commented on their deterrent strategy. These are not permanent moves. They are moves designed to respond to the current security environment. Moreover, these forces are not going to fight in Ukraine. They are going to ensure the robust defense of our NATO allies. Both of these moves are to supplement existing U.S. force presence in Poland and Germany. Uh, these forces are separate and in addition to the 8500 personnel in the United States on heightened alert position. The job of the U.K. is to lead the West in bringing together uh, the most important countries in uh, creating a package of economic sanctions that will deter President Putin from what I believe would be a disastrous miscalculation. President Putin, in his first public statements on this conflict in more than a month, he hinted that there could be another round of diplomacy, perhaps a final one, suggesting a potential invasion may not be around the corner. However, he did accuse the U.S. and its allies of ignoring some of their central security demands. Now, as for this rapid deployment of those U.S. forces, well, officials say that could happen in the coming days. That's very latest in the newsroom. I'm Karine Winter. We'll send it back to you now in the studio.